what's up guys, Benny here and welcome to 23 tips to help make you better at Call of Duty Warzone. This video will be jam packed with tips and tricks to help make you a better player and get more kills and wins. And it will also help you understand what some of the best players in the world are doing to get so many wins and kills on a consistent basis. I'm also playing on a brand new PC with a GeForce RTX 3080 in it, thanks to the sponsors of today's video, Nvidia and Scan Computer computers, as there are some incredible in-game features and settings in Warzone that can really give you a competitive advantage if you use the right setup, and this PC allows me to do exactly that. Now my PC itself, for those of you interested, has that GeForce RTX 3080, which is up to two times faster than my previous 2080, and the important thing with that is it's going to allow me to get a higher frame rate, which is huge. The PC also has a brand new Intel i9-10900K processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte M2 SSD, which makes it super fast. And to top it all off, Scan has gone ahead and put this cool Benny Central custom engraving on the side. So make sure to go check out Scan 3XS custom PCs in the link down in the description below. My first tip to help you get better at Warzone is to know when to run away. Sometimes it's better to just not challenge a fight in the first place, especially if an enemy team appears to be filled with good players. If I'm pushing an enemy squad, for example, and they manage to land some good shots, I'll just go and move to a different part of the map and fight them later when I'm in a better position, rather than when all their attention is focused on me. So if you can't be the player opening up the fight and dishing out some quick damage or getting a quick kill, just go somewhere different and live to fight another day. Next, something I've started doing a lot more recently is moving around the map depending on where buy stations are. It was like a light bulb moment. Buy stations are locations that enemies are always going to visit. And usually they'll either have loads of cash or be weakened in some way because they either need to buy teammates back, get armor plates, or are just buying their loadout. So it's a great opportunity for you to get some easy kills when players are at their most vulnerable. And if you just spend your time running between buy stations, you're going to be visiting map hotspots on a regular basis and are going to be able to get some really high kill games. My next tip for Warzone is a simple one. Use Semtex grenades over C4s in your loadout. With season six, C4s took a huge nerf and you now just can't throw them anywhere near as far. Though Semtexes aren't as powerful as a C4, they can be perfect to force players out of a position for you to take them out with your gun to use those Semtexes. Next, one of the most important things to do well in Warzone is make sure you check the map before you drop. And there's a couple of reasons for this. Firstly, be aware of the flight path and the circle. This will help you understand where players are most likely going to be and where they're going to come from in the first zone. If I land at airport, for example, I'll change which way I rotate depending on the circle's location. If it's more towards Boneyard, I'll head through storage. If it's up towards Quarry, I'll go more towards Rivertown and be ready to take out enemies as they get pushed by the gas across the large open airfield. It'll surprise you how many kills you'll end up racking if you think about this as you start a game. Next, something a lot of players don't do is spend their cash. Early game especially. Learn what to prioritize buying and then make sure you use it. It'll only help you get more cash and more kills. Personally, I always think you should get your loadout drop first and then buy UAVs over self revives, especially if you haven't used your gulag yet. Early game UAVs before the first loadout drop spawn will help you so much as very few players grab ghosts straight away. So you're going to know exactly where people are and are going to be able to rack up a lot of kills. My next tip is to make sure you take advantage of new game settings. A great example of this is Nvidia Reflex, which has just been added to Warzone, which is going to reduce your game's latency, which is going to make your game more responsive. So you'll be able to react faster to things that happen in game. It might help you win some gunfights that you would have otherwise lost. Every advantage you can gain, you should take. So make sure to use this setting if you can. My next tip for Warzone is to remember you can outrun every circle other than the first one. 
So when you're playing Warzone, keep an eye out on that circle close timer because if you don't have a vehicle, it's one of the worst ways to be sent to the gulag at the start of a game. Now, something that I do a lot in Warzone at the start of a match is to go straight for a chopper. But a lot of players don't do this because it's pretty much a race, which if you lose, you'll likely end up in the gulag. So I'm going to tell you my secret to get the chopper first every single time. Now, I'll jump out when I'm around 700 meters away from the nearest point of the chopper. Then I'll pull my chutes when I'm around 30 to 40 meters from the ground, and then I'll instantly cut it and land on top of the chopper when I'm about 20 meters from the ground whilst mashing the X or square button. The chopper has extra height so you won't die from full damage and then you'll usually get in first. If you're landing with a parachute, you'll always get beaten and get killed. Also, you can get some insane kills just by doing this at the start of a game. My next tip is for the start of a Warzone match and it's all about loot prioritization and how to loot quickly. The first thing I'm doing when I'm flying into a location is looking for loot spawns, whether it's a chest or ideally an SMG or assault rifle. If I can't see a weapon, I'll go straight for a chest, which usually will always give you some kind of gun. You've just got to hope it's not a sniper or a riot shield or an RPG at the start of a game. Then as soon as you've got a gun, you want to deal with anyone that's directly next to you before even thinking about using plates. Usually the time that it takes the plate can easily cost you at the start of a match, unless you've got teammates around who also have weapons and can give you some cover. My next tip for you in Call of Duty Warzone is to maximize your FPS. One of the things that I've always done is lower my graphic settings to get the most frames per second that I can, usually trying to match it to my monitor. If I had a 144 hertz monitor, I'd do what I can to get 144 FPS. But now with my brand new GeForce 3080, I'm able to get closer to 200 frames per second at 1080p, which is insane. And you can see on screen the difference of having a higher FPS in game. It's going to allow you to see things quicker and be able to be a lot more responsive, which is going to help you get those wins. So try and get the highest FPS that you possibly can. My next tip sort of ties into loot prioritization. You really want to make sure you learn which floor loot weapons are the best because some like the blue kilo with the 100 round mag, for example, even though it's rare, absolutely suck in my opinion. And I'd rather stick with the SA-87. So learn what weapons are your favorites and make sure to keep using them. My next tip for Warzone is something that a lot of players don't actually know. And that's the fact that assault rifles have only two damage stats in Warzone, headshots, and then everywhere else compared to other weapons like an SMG that has limb damage, lower torso, upper torso, and also headshots. This means that when using an assault rifle, you don't have to worry about being too precise on where you hit your opponent if you're not aiming directly for the head, which can lead to some easy kills. Now, these next few tips are ones that are going to help you get more kills and win more squad fights, and are things that I've picked up from spending countless hours doing solo squads and competing in tournaments. But when I'm approaching a squad, I'll always look for the player that's a little bit away from the group, and I know I'm going to be able to down and potentially finish before the other players can react. You want to do this because of how fast you can get killed in Warzone. If you get focused by an entire team, even a team that's not as good as a player as you, you're going to end up getting taken out. It doesn't matter how good you are. As soon as I finish that kill, I'll then reposition to get an angle where they're going to most likely push and not know where I am. You don't even need to take out an entire squad straight away and taking those extra 20 to 30 seconds to have positioning and not get focused is going to be worth it in the long run and you're gonna get a lot more kills. My next tip is all about your in combat movement. Something that you want to get into the habit of is something that I like to call the wobble. This is when you're being shot at and you want to be quickly moving left to right, left to right in almost a figure eight and doing it quickly, also going from standing to crouching. You want to do this to make it as hard as possible for an enemy player to be able to track you with their gun. It'll increase your chance of surviving by an absolute ton. It does take a while to get used to, especially mid gunfight, but definitely have it in the back of your mind next time and you'll win more gunfights. Something else you'll want to do to get better at Call of Duty 
Energy Warzone is take full advantage of the slide mechanic. Whenever I can, I'll slide into a gunfight at close range because depending on the player's sensitivity, that fast piece of unexpected movement is going to be very difficult for them to track. But also be prepared for other players to do it to you also, as it's going to be something that sticks around for a long time to come as it's still overpowered in Black Ops Cold War. My next tip I've mentioned a lot in the past, but I still think it's one of the most important things that you can do to win more gunfights in Warzone, and that's to jump shot in gunfights. Honestly, in the middle of a 50-50 gunfight, if you bunny hop, you're going to be far more likely to come out on top, just because depending on where your opponent is aiming, they'll either not land headshots consistently or miss entirely, helping to give you an edge. It can take some time to get used to, but whether you're using a scuff controller or playing claw, this is one of the best things that you can possibly do to get better at Warzone. One of the biggest lessons that you're taught when playing multiplayer is to constantly look at the minimap because that'll give you a clear indication of where enemy players are going to be, either from red dots or your teammates' locations. However, in Warzone, it's not as valuable, partially because everyone uses a monolithic suppressor and the map is far, far larger, so you can't really tell exact player locations unless you have a UAV, and then they might also have ghosts, so you need to rely on your eyes and scanning what's in front of you to find enemy players and squads. It's a small thing, but try not to look at your minimap as much as you do in multiplayer and actually focus on danger points in front of you like doorways, windows, or the crest of a hill so you don't get caught out. My next tip is something that I've been doing a lot more recently in Warzone, and that's if I down a player and can clearly see that they don't have a self-revive, I won't always finish them off. I'll instead use them as bait because I'm then giving an opponent another decision to make. Do I try to save my teammate? Do I go for the revive? And because of that, they'll normally be more likely to make a mistake or try and push you because of the timer that they've now got on their heads with their teammates' health slowly ticking down. So use your downs as bait for the rest of the team so you can get them as well. One of the biggest areas of my game that I've improved a lot recently is not always trying to push, 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 but sometimes you want to push into an active area and then take advantage of the situation as it plays out in front of you. So if you get a strong map position with some cover, you don't need to necessarily push from there till the time is right to get the kills. And no, that doesn't mean camp. It just means don't constantly push across open areas or feel as if you've always got to be the aggressor. Let an enemy push you and take advantage of those moments because they'll be some of the easiest kills that you'll ever get, especially when using a gun like the Kilo. Next, to help you win more team fights in Warzone, I really want you to start thinking about the angles. If all your teammates are very close together, the area that that you can watch and cover as a team is very small. So it's important to spread out a little bit and watch different areas and get the most map coverage that you can. For example, if you're both fighting one player and he's hiding behind a rock, if one of you goes left and one goes wide right, that enemy player is going to have less and less space to work with where he's going to be safely in cover. This is something that you need to think about in every gunfight. Where is my teammate shooting from and what angle can I get where I'm going to have an easy shot on my opponent? My next tip to help you win gunfights as well is to make sure you prioritize the high ground. This will naturally give you more angles and opportunity to beat enemy teams. One of the worst situations that you can find yourself in in Warzone is having to push an enemy team that has the top of a building or the top of a hill, especially in those final circles. So when you can, always look at where you can rotate or pinwheel your way to the high ground and hold it down. It can also be worth learning some jump spots to help you get high ground as much as possible, but all it's gonna do is give you an advantage. And to finish, my final tip is to please, please, please use the best possible loadouts. Even now, I still run into players that have some incredibly, absolutely horrific weapon builds, and it's one of the things that you can do and sort before you even get into a match. And all that's going to do is allow you to do the best that you possibly can and be far more likely to win. So if you haven't, go check some of my best loadout videos and set your classes up. So there we have it, 23 tips to help you get better at Warzone. Once again, a big thank you to NVIDIA and Scan Computers for hooking me up with a brand new PC. Do make sure to go check out Scan's link down in the description below. Let me know what you think. And also, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and smash the like button. And I'll see you next time.